write the um, operation or perform the indicated operation. So I'm going to write it a little bigger so you can see it. But it's this stuff. Um, well, it's not even that. It's this stuff i cubed, square root of 3 cubed. Okay? Um, we just got to multi multiply it out like three times. So what this means is I'm going to say negative 3 plus 3i times negative 3 plus 3i square root of 3 times negative 3 plus 3i square root of 3. Okay. And so what Mr. Adams likes to do is I like to use the box method because I'm not going to miss uh, a term. So I'm going to say negative 3 and then 3i square root of 3, negative 3, 3i square root of 3. This becomes positive 9, this becomes negative 9i uh, root 3, this becomes negative 9i root 3, and then this one becomes a positive 9i squared, and the square root of 3 is just 3. So 9 times i squared is negative 9 times 3 is negative 27. So all this stuff right here is a negative 27. So now if I combine like terms, I'm gonna, my first term will be 9. This is going to be negative 18 i square root of 3 and then minus 27. Now here's the funny thing, um, and I probably should have thought about this. What's nine minus twenty-seven? Negative yeah, it's negative eighteen. So really, I'm just going to put that negative eighteen here. Okay, and I'm going to multiply that. So I this right here is the product of these two, and now I just got to multiply it by this. Uh, and then we're done. So 18 times 3 is what? Is it 54? Positive 54? Yeah. And then this one becomes positive 54i root 3. This one becomes negative 54i root 3. Right? Well, that worked out, didn't it? Oh, wait. Yeah, negative times negative is positive, negative, yeah, that works out. Huh, that's weird. All right, now i got to multiply these. This is negative 54, so I've got the 3 times the 18 is negative 54. i times i is i squared, all right? And then I have root 3 times root 3, which is just 3. This becomes a negative 1, so it's positive 54. Um, this whole thing is 162. Is that right? Positive 162. These two cancel out because they're opposites. So I've really got 54 plus 162. What's that? Is it 216? Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? 